Hi, I'm Stephen Gandolfi, coming to you from the tasting room at Westport Whiskey and Wine with this week's Cheeky Pint. Uh, this week's theme is inventory blowout, uh, midwinter madness kind of stuff, and I've got four big, bold IPAs that I want to talk about this week. The first one is Avery Maharaja. Avery Maharaja, for years, was just a bomber release only. Uh, they've released it now as part of this uh, big 10% series that they're doing with Reverend and a couple of their other old high-end uh, high beers. Uh, this is a classic first wave, old school, dank IPA. Heavily featuring the three C's, what we call uh, Cascade, Chinook, and uh, Columbus hops. 10% uh, alcohol by volume. It's got a nice, sweet undertone to it that really balances out that, that big hop uh, burst that you get right up at the top. Uh, this is a great high gravity beer, especially for winter drinking, uh, and it's something that I can't recommend highly enough. I have a long history with this beer, uh, more so than any, any of these other guys, but this was, you know, I can remember uh, this was my winter beer during college a lot. You know, I'd sit down, having to write a paper, and just, you know, Drink 22 ounces of 10% ABV beer, sometimes twice. But moving on, Six Point Brewery. Uh, these guys are out of Brooklyn, New York. They have a pretty big following up in the Northeast. Uh, we don't see a lot of their product around here, and I think when we do, it's often overlooked, which is a shame, because these guys make some of my favorite beers east of the Mississippi. Uh, Resin IPA is no different. Uh, this is sort of a more second wavy kind of IPA, uh, big piney northwestern kind of notes. Uh, it's very resiny, and I, I know for you know I said dank here, and I know there's a lot of implications with hops being kind of akin to cannabis, and we talk about it in beer all the time. Resin here, sure you could take as that, but I mean really resiny, piney, I mean, it's it's such a delicious, especially Christmassy kind of beer. I know we're in January now, but like, it just, it, it, it it's like this beer you want to take on a hike, you know? Uh, but big guy coming in at 9.1% alcohol by volume, not quite as high a Maharaja, but this is just like, a, it's a great outdoorsy beer, especially during the cold winter months, sit around, you know, fire pit or something like that, wearing a flannel shirt, just does the trick. Uh, next, from our buddies up in Cincinnati, Rheingeist. This is part of their rarity series, which all have fish names for some reason. This is Alpha Squid. Alpha Squid is a New England style IPA, and that's something we see a lot. Essentially, usually with a New England style IPA, what you're doing is in your grain bill, you're adding uh, usually oat and or wheat, and that you're not going to filter, and it's going to give you sort of a, a creamier body. It's going to uh, take away some of that sharpness that you get from hop acids and uh, from the alpha acids that are in the hops and kind of like make it more juicy, more fruity. Uh, and that's what this does in spades. Uh, the flaked oat that they're using is acidulated, which means that they have added lactose to it during the, um, during the malting process. And that changes the pH of the, the malt, uh, of, the, of the wort that you're making. And it comes across here, you'll notice there's like a nice little tang that finishes this beer. And that's what that acidulated malt is. Uh, but uh, usually uh, $13.99, uh, we're gonna do this guy for $12.99. I don't think I told you the prices on these. $17.99, we're gonna take it down to $15.99. $12.99, I'm gonna take it down to $10.99. And we're gonna keep with that over here with this big 12 pack, Voodoo Ranger. New Belgium has really sort of rebranded as just the Voodoo Brewery at this point. I mean, the, the Voodoo stuff is really outselling anything else that they make. And uh, here at the store, the Voodoo Ranger Imperial IPA is very popular. Uh, this is those kind of third wave, west coast, grapefruit, uh, bitter citrus kind of notes um, coming in at 9% alcohol by volume. This is, I mean, this is a party pack. You got people coming over to watch, you know, playoff game, or I guess now it's just straight up the Super Bowl, right? That's all we have left. But pull one of these, everybody have one or two, and it, it just, it's, I don't like this term, it's crushable. It goes down way too easy, and at 9%, you got to kind of watch that, but maybe you don't. 
Maybe you're not driving. Maybe you're staying at home. You're just going to watch the game. Kill two or three of them. Kill six or seven of them. It's up to you, man. It's your world. Anyway, that's this week's beers. Again, a nice little array of IPAs, all high gravity. And uh, I think with uh, the IPA market, all too often an IPA is an IPA is an IPA. But these are four stand-up versions, and you should come down and pick them up.